Hungarian folk tales. The lad who watched over the rabbits. Once upon a time, very long ago and far away, there lived a king and the king had a daughter, so beautiful that even the painters could not paint her beauty. Now there came a time for her to take a husband and the king said that he would give her in marriage to the man who could catch the apple she threw among them. So they came together, the princes and the dukes, the counts and the gypsy lads to catch the apple. But try as they would, not one of them succeeded. But one day who should turn up but a village lad? Once again the princess flung the apple and the lad caught it as if it had been thrown straight to him. But the king was not overjoyed at this, that a come and go as he pleases lad was to be his son-in-law. Well then, young fellow, I don't know what kind of lad you are to catch the apple, but there's another trial in store for you. I have rabbits aplenty and you have to watch over them. If you can watch them carefully, well and good, but if you can't, then it's off with your head. Now the lad was downcast to hear that he had to watch over the rabbits, for never before had he been a watcher of rabbits. And all of a sudden, an old woman appeared. She said, don't be downcast, young fellow. I shall give you a whistle. And when you go off to the meadow, all you have to do is blow it and you'll see how useful it will be. Then they let the rabbits out and they ran off in a thousand directions. The lad blew his whistle and the rabbits lined up like soldiers on parade. The king looked out and wondered what kind of lad could keep the rabbits in devilish good order. So the king said to his daughter, Listen, daughter dear, dress yourself up as a poor young woman and take a satchel with you to the meadow and ask the lad for a rabbit, so that in the evening when he brings them home, there'll be one rabbit missing. So the princess dressed herself up in the clothes of a poor young woman, put a satchel under her arm and went out to the meadow. Good day to you, good rabbit herd. God save you. What brings you here, young lady? I'm not a lady. I'm just a poor young girl. I came to see if you could give me a rabbit. Of course I can, he said. If your highness will give me a kiss. I'm not a princess, said she. And she was really fierce in denying it because she didn't want the lad to know who she was. But he knew which way the wind was blowing. Well, just one kiss and I'll give you a rabbit. So the princess thought for a moment to kiss or not to kiss, but in the end, she gave him a kiss. Right away, the lad took hold of a rabbit and put it in the satchel for her. So she set off home. But she hadn't got halfway home when the lad blew the whistle again and the rabbit jumped out of the satchel and scampered back to him. The princess got home and the king said to her, well, did you get a rabbit? She looked in the satchel and, sure enough, there was nothing in it at all. So she said to her father, I tried and I asked, but he didn't give me a rabbit, because she was ashamed to say that she had given him a kiss. So the king said, never mind, I'll try. So the king dressed up as a poor country lad and took a satchel and off he went on a donkey to the meadow where the village lad was to be found. When he got there, he said, God save you, young fellow. How goes it with you? Well enough, said the lad. I have the rabbits to watch over. Have pity on me, young fellow, and give me a rabbit, for I'm as poor as poor can be and sick, and I need the meat of a rabbit to give me strength. Willingly, said the lad. If you kiss the tail of your donkey, so the king thought for a moment and in the end he kissed the tail of the donkey. Well then, the lad gave him a rabbit. 
the king took the satchel under his arm and sat astride the donkey. But he hadn't got halfway home when the lad blew that whistle of his and the rabbit jumped out of the satchel and left it as empty as the day is long. The king got home, opened the satchel and saw not a rabbit there at all. The princess asked him, Father dear, did you bring a rabbit? Of course I didn't bring one, he wouldn't give me one. Evening came and the king looked out of the window to see how the lad had lined up the rabbits to come home. Like soldiers on parade, in they came and all of them present and correct. Well done, young fellow, said the king. You've done a very good job. You've passed the test. Now there's one more for you, and if you pass that too, then you'll have my daughter as your wife. Now I want you to tell me as many lies as will fit in a sack. So the lad began to think about what lies he could tell. All the king's counsellors sat around in a circle with the lad in the middle and he started to tell lies. Well, he lied and lied about anything and everything that came into his head. But the king called out, The sack's not full yet. Carry on with your lying. So he carried on. Well, you know, when I was looking after the rabbits, the princess came to me and asked for a rabbit and gave me a kiss in return. Well, didn't the princess grow as red in the face as a rose in bloom? She couldn't get over her shame. And after that, said the lad, the king himself came and I told him to kiss the donkeys. It's full, shouted the king. You don't have to say another word. A big sack full of lies. So the lad didn't say another word. And that's how the king gave his daughter to the lad who watched over the rabbits. Together they lived happily and peacefully. And when the king died, the lad became king. His kingdom was so blessed that it's a pity he isn't still living today. And that's the end of my story. <laughs>